Hey this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video I want to show you how to integrate your payment gateway with your email marketing tool. So what I am going to do now is that I am going to create a welcome email for the people who purchase the email marketing mastery course and then later in a future video I will also set up a welcome SMS. So what we are doing here is that we are taking data from the payment gateway where the payment happens and then we are passing it on to the email marketing tool. And also we will make sure that the specific email is triggered from the email tool. So if you had noticed whenever you have purchased my previous courses you will instantly get a welcome email and a welcome SMS. But since you are watching this video right now which means that you have purchased the email marketing mastery course you might have noticed that there was no welcome email or no welcome SMS. So I left it out intentionally because I am going to cover how to create a welcome email and a welcome SMS in these video tutorials and I am going to set it up for email marketing mastery course as well so that whenever someone purchases my course in the future they will be getting a welcome email and welcome SMS and that is what we are going to set it up right now. So what I will do I am right now in, inside Instamojo and Instamojo provides webhooks so many payment gateways will provide webhooks for you and you don't need to do a separate API integration for them. So what I will do is that I will go inside email marketing mastery course and I will edit the offer. So here there is a link called edit product and here if I scroll down then there are SEO options and advanced settings. Inside advanced settings I can add a webhook URL here. So what I am going to do I am going to use Zapier again. So let me log in into Zapier. And inside Zapier I am going to create a new folder just to manage this. So here you can see there is a folder for 100 day blogging course and there is a folder for other courses as well. So what I will do I will just add email marketing mastery. And here I will create a news app. So again data from the payment gateway is taken via webhooks so I will go ahead and search for webhooks by Zapier and uh, here I will click on catch hook, skip this step and I have to copy this and add it back at Instamojo. So now I will update the offer. And now you can see that this has been added but to fetch the data inside Zapier we need to go ahead and do a transaction at Instamojo so that Instamojo can pass the webhook for the first time for us to configure this particular Zap. So what I will do I will go ahead and create a 100% discount code and this discount code let's say email marketing mastery course test. So 3999 is the amount so I will go ahead and add 3999 here and click on add code. So here I will be able to go ahead and click on EMM test. So here it's a 0 rupee transaction. So let me open up an incognito window and do a transaction here. So I will click on pay now and here I will just enter my details. So email I can enter one of my email IDs and phone number I will enter my phone number here. So I will click on claim for free because this is a this is a zero rupee offer as we had just created the discount code. So now the payment transaction is complete at Instamojo. So Instamojo would have posted a webhook to Zapier and here we will be looking for new data. Yeah, so it is already here. So here you can see the most recent transaction that we did is here. And now I will click on continue. So what do I want to do now? Now I want to pass this data to drip. So I will go to drip create or update subscriber, save and continue, save and continue. So I will select my account 
and email address i have to select the email address of the buyer then i will add name and phone number as well so now this will be deepak and phone number would be this one so here adding the right tag is very important so i usually use this format bot hyphen the product name so here i have entered as bot hyphen email because it is the email marketing mastery course and now let me click on continue click create and continue so now zapier would have executed this zap so i will just uh, name this zap as bot hyphen email so now let's go back to drip and see if this particular purchase has been updated on drip so i have to go to subscribers select email equals social at digital deepak dot com click on refresh so here you will be able to see all the tags that this particular email id has been applied with and we just added the tag bot hyphen email and you can see that this tag has been added so what this does is that it only adds the tag but we need to create an automation which is triggered by the tag so what i will do i will go ahead and create a new automation and inside the automation let me just click on new workflow so the workflow will be called bot hyphen email so let me click on create workflow so here the trigger will be from drip and apply the tag so tag would be bot hyphen email so what we are doing is that whenever a transaction happens at instamojo the data is passed via webhook to zapier and zapier will pass the data back to drip along with the tag and the tag is bot hyphen email so inside drip we are going to define a welcome email so whenever this tag is applied a welcome email is sent so let me go ahead and click on action and inside action what i will do i will go ahead and click on send a one off email so one off email is the type of email that we will be sending and here i will just enter subject and body so give me a minute and i will be back after entering the subject and the email body so i have updated the email i have written the subject line and the email body so here you can see that uh, i have just given a link so that they can click on it and access the course from the learning management system so another thing that i will do is that i will go into settings and i will click on transaction or relationship so this goes from a transactional ip address and this has better deliverability but you cannot do promotion using transactional relationship route you can only send emails like uh, delivery of the course or delivery of the product or notification emails and things like that so now i will click on update and let me go back to the workflow so this is the simple automation that we have set up so what i will do i will just go ahead and click on start workflow and now we can go ahead and test the system so now what i will do is that i will create another transaction and see if everything is working in synchronization so ideally when someone purchases my course they should be getting the welcome email from my drip account with the link to sign up on the lms so let's go ahead and create a new gmail account and we will use this particular gmail account for rest of the experiments and demos that we do with the email marketing mastery course so just give me a minute uh, once i create this account i will be back so i have created this new gmail account called email course test at gmail.com and i will just go into the inbox of this particular email id and now we can use this particular email id to sign up for a new account or create a new purchase so here i will create a new purchase so i will just uh, say that the name is deepak and email course test at gmail.com and let me enter the phone number and click on claim for free so now the data should have passed to 
Zapier and Zapier should have passed the data to Drip. So let's check if this is happening. Let me go back to Zapier and this particular Zap is on. So we will look at task history and here you can see that uh, the Zap has been done. So Instamojo has posted data to Zapier webhooks and this is the data that has been collected so buyer is email course test at gmail.com the transaction that we just did and this data has been passed on to drip and drip has applied the tag bot hyphen email so what i will do is that now i will go into drip and check for this particular email and see what has happened so far so since we have created this automation this automation should have got triggered let's click on show analytics so as soon as I click on show analytics, you can see that it says zero triggered because it takes some time for it to get updated. But if I click on this particular link, you will see that this email ID is already here. So one has been already triggered. So let's go back and see if the stats get refreshed. I will try unchecking this and checking this again. So it takes some time so let it take some time so drip is not very fast at certain times the server gets loaded with too many requests and it gets delayed let's try refreshing one last time it still it still says zero triggered but i think it will get updated later but if you click on this and go inside it you will be able to see this anyway so if i click on this particular subscriber then i can see what is the workflow that has been triggered so far so Zapier has updated the first name and Zapier has updated the phone number and then it has been tagged as bot hyphen email which has started the bot hyphen email workflow and it has completed the workflow. So another uh, thing that is not being displayed here is the email sent activity. So as I said it takes some time for drip to update the data and it is a little bit slow. So let's go and check uh, our inbox. So here we are back at the inbox of the test account that we just created and you can see that there is a notification email from Instamojo which is sent by Instamojo for the particular transaction but we also have this email which has been triggered by Drip. So even though it has not showed up in the subscriber activity the workflow has been completed. So here you can see there is a link to sign up on the LMS so someone can click on this link go ahead and sign up on Teachable. So this is how it works and you can see that this email has been triggered because Zapier has passed the data to drip along with a certain tag and this tag has triggered that particular automation which sends that email. So which is the bot hyphen email workflow. So sending an SMS is also very similar except that instead of passing data to the email marketing tool we will be passing data to the SMS provider. So that we will see in another video. I hope this uh, video helped you learn how to pass data from the payment gateway via webhooks into your email marketing tool and also trigger an email using automation rule. So this is only for drip, uh, other email marketing tools like ConvertKit also have similar automation workflows which you can trigger or you can trigger a campaign or a drip marketing campaign which will deliver the welcome email. So this is how I set it up for all the courses and here we will probably go ahead and make this workflow a little bit complex and what we will do is that we will add some conditions to it so you can see that there are multiple conditions like fork, action, decision, goal, delay and things like that. So this is something for the future videos and also here you can see that the data has got updated. I was saying that the data takes some time to update so now it has been updated. So from now on whenever someone purchases the email marketing mastery course the this particular automation will get triggered and this particular email will actually deliver the course. So this means that I literally can make sales while I sleep or even while I am on a vacation because as soon as the sale happens this particular system is going to take care of the product delivery itself. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions leave a comment below. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.